Hello everybody, this is Manny. And I finally get to do this. So welcome to my first hotel review in Las Vegas at the link. Alright, so I'm staying here at The Link, which is one of my favorite hotels that I always used to stay at. Back when I was still living on Maui, at one point, I would come to visit Vegas at least five or six times in one year. And three of the times, I stayed over here at The Link. One thing I like about staying here at The Link is it's nice, it's got that modern look, and it's smacked in the middle of everything. I'll show you why it's smacked in the middle of everything. Everything, all the action going on, and where you can have some fun. The bathroom is still the same. Got a shower over here, it's pretty nice. So got the toilet, of course. Got that mirror with the lights on the side, which is nice. One thing I like about the link over here is if you forgot your shampoo or soap or hand soap or whatever, they also have dispensers in the shower, shampoo, conditioner, and the body wash. They also have hand soap and lotion, which is pretty cool. I bring my own stuff, but maybe if I do have to use it, I'll use it. And also over here, there's like a little sitting area, which I probably won't do much unless I'll be editing some videos from this video that I'm currently doing right now. What's up here is the closet. You got a couple hangers, an ironing board with the iron. I also have a mini fridge and a safe, two drawers. Also have a little cup so you can grab some ice. Oh, and I also got the queen size bed. I just got the regular one, which it costs around about 15, 20 bucks a night which I'm only staying here one night just so I can do this hotel review. I also have a 40 inch screen TV, cool, but I probably won't be watching any TV when I'm over here because I'll probably be out most of the time. Oh, and as for the view, let's see how the view looks. This curtain open up. It's all right. So I'm on the 12th floor with a view of just the other rooms. Yeah, so I got the hotel for a pretty good deal. I mean, about an average of $10 a night. I think I got it for like 25 a night. It's a really good deal, but the only thing that makes it crappy is the freaking resort fees. That's worth more than the room itself. So it went up a little bit, but it's not so bad. It's still a pretty good deal. You don't get no better than that. Right now, I'm gonna change clothes, get into my tank top, surf shorts. I'm gonna go check out the pool, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, you can forget about that because the pool closed at six. All right, so after that, I just walked around for a little bit, checking out what's new, what's not. I saw they got Dunkin' Donuts. They got some nice aerial, I guess, LED screen. We walked through, it was like in a music video. There was one on the corner, right next to the outside bar. That was pretty cool. And I was like doing like, whatever, trying to make like a music video, but and I had, and I went outside a little bit, trying to get a good view of the link, but then there were some acts over there asking to be spanked. So, uh, I'm not, I'm not down with that. I try to avoid that stuff. But I was walking down the promenade and trying to figure out where I'm gonna eat at. They got a lot of places like Shades, they got Virgil's, barbecue. And one thing I didn't see, but I guess it's new, is they have a museum selfie. Maybe I might go there and take a couple selfies. That's not my thing, but you know, I'll do it for the gram. <laughs> 
I didn't go far, I just went down to Flowers and Bar and just got a couple pizzas and bring it up to the room. Yeah, I'm kind of tired, I had a pretty long day, I have to go to the doctors and stuff, so I'm feeling kind of off. So I'm probably just gonna kick in here, have my dinner, and probably check out the pool before I check out. I'm gonna end this right here. The room is nice. There's some little little changes, but still look the same. And like I said, this is one of the places that I want to do my first hotel review at. I hope I can get into more details tomorrow. Because after this, I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna call it a night. I'm tired, I'm looking for sleep on that bed, and I'll get back with you tomorrow. It's checkout day, but first I'm gonna grab some breakfast and I'm gonna check out the pool before I leave. Got back from downstairs just to get me something to eat for breakfast. I didn't want to go heavy. I was gonna to go to the cake boss area right next to Dunkin' Donuts, going out to the elevators, but there was just a lot of people and I didn't want to stand in that line. The line was too long. So I went by Nook that's on the way to the casinos and I just got me a Caesar salad, looked like there's a truffle on the top and it was kind of elegant and uh, bowl of fruits. So I'm just gonna eat this, wait till it's nine o'clock so I can go check out the pool. At the link, they also have a spa, which is really nice. When you walk right in, you feel relief, tranquility, and you just feel nice walking in. But if you don't wanna go to the spa, you gotta go through there. All the way in the back, there's a fitness center where you can work out. I might get a little workout in before I leave, but I probably won't have time because uh, I gotta check out at 11. And I wait till the pool opens at 9 o'clock, and I'm probably just gonna hang out there for, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes or an hour. Depends how the vibe is. Depends how long I stay at the pool. But if it's early, then I might just check out early and then head on home. So as of right now, I'm about to eat. And I did not grab me a fork. Frick! Oh, wait a minute! I don't know why, but I do have a fork in my backpack, just in case. And it has come in handy. Thank you. Now I'm gonna eat. Oh, and the Caesar salad, the bowl of fruits, and this naked trick right here. All came out to like 31 bucks. Bro, that's pretty expensive. But that's what you get when you stay at a hotel. So my suggestion to you guys, if you guys wanna not pay this price, go to your nearest CVS or supermarket and grab you some food. That's just my advice. But if you're really hungry, then just buy it. Okay, now I'm gonna go eat. All right, let's try this again. It's like about 9.30. I slept a little bit. About to go check out the pool. And, and my Just, it's on a slow day, so maybe later on today there's gonna to be a lot more going on. And usually they have a DJs on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I mean, it's pretty nice out here, man. It's pretty relaxing, it's pretty chill. Got some lounge chairs, you got some cabanas to rent, you got the day beds around the pool. As I checked, the day beds is about 75 bucks. Um, I'm just gonna be here for a quick one just to give a little review. There's people in the pool, it's happening. I mean, the pool's not that deep. There's certain areas where there's a jacuzzi. There's also a bar you want to drink. On the other side, there's a, a lot of lounge area sits. You can overlook down at the promenade. We got a cornhole over there, so. Yeah, it's a pretty good vibe. We also have the first floors with the outside cabanas that they have their own cabana. Maybe the next time I come back, I'll get that one so I can just walk right out to the pool. But, but now it's chill. We got the sound in the background, so it might get demonetized or whatever, but it's nice though. I would like to jump in the pool, but I prefer these pools kind of. That's what people are saying. I mean, it could be clean right now as long as they don't throw up and whatever. But I'm about to get up out of here. I'll be out for the rest of the day until it's time to check out. Shout out to Stevie Oki. All right, so here's my review of the link. And of course, I like it here. This was one of my favorite hotels to stay at. And the reason why is, like I said earlier in the video, it's smacked in the middle of everything. You got places to eat, you got the promenade, you got every other hotels or shopping centers you can walk around. It's just walking distance. So of course the rooms are 
very clean. Well, there's certain places that are gonna dust and stuff, but otherwise than that, the room is clean. There's a little bit of scuff marks on the wall. But one thing, when I was sleeping, there was one sheet that had stains on it. That was like my only main concern. Otherwise than that, it's clean. It was on that side. I slept on the right side. And then the lobbies and casinos were very clean. Because all the workers are mopping the floors and just keeping the floors clean, which is a big plus. And the security over here has been pretty on it. I remember the last time I stayed here about four years ago, there was a guy that was trying to get into the elevator. I had two security guys stop him before he entered. And knowing that he don't have a key to get in, so they told him, nope, you cannot, you gotta leave the premises. Yeah, and the pool was cool. I was gonna hang out there and probably jump in the water. But it was really hot. I didn't wanna shower again. Got some footage to get his review. Now, will I recommend you to stay here? What you think the access will be? Definitely. Right now, it's smack in the middle of everything. It's got everything right when you step out of the hotel. You're right on the promenade. You want pizza, you go flowers and barley. You want burgers, you got in and out You want barbecue, you got Virgil's. You want to go bowling, there's Brooklyn Bowl upstairs. If you want to watch comedy, there's a comedy show. There's also magic shows. They pretty much got everything on them. And if you want to go ziplining, you can do that. But that's not till like 4 p.m. And if you want to go on a high roller and check out the views of Vegas, you can do that also. It's right there walking distance. So yes, this is a big recommendation. Two thumbs up. Stay in here. And the rooms are pretty good price depending on the day. Of course, the days leading to the weekends is pretty expensive, but I mean, if you want to stay here for a good price, you can go on weekdays. The cheaper days would be Monday and Thursday, so if you live in Vegas and you want to go on a staycation, you can do that. All right, so this concludes my first ever hotel review. I hope I do a pretty good job on this. Plan on doing more in the future, definitely. Hopefully I get my YouTube channel going and get more subscribers and get more views. Please so I can make more videos and hopefully I can do this for a living. This will be a start of more hotel reviews to come. I'm gonna start from the bottom and once I'm doing real well with this channel with more subscribers and more views, then I'll slowly go up each room from the bottom to the suites. I hope this video does well. I hope this video really helps you out just to know that this is one of the best places to stay in Vegas. So I'm gonna end this right here. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it so I can do more videos like this. So this is Manny. Until next time, aloha.